Yeah. Do you guys have a news, newspaper in town? Or did they shut that down too? Huh? Did you see in the paper this morning that uh, Anthony Kiedis, the Grammy Award winning composer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, has finally joined the Mile High Club? Yeah, that's right. He raped a woman in Denver. Why? Why did Metallica cut their hair? Well, their hairdresser said it was the only way to get all that matted come out of it. I didn't want to tell that, but contractually I was forced into it. I do, do apologize. All right, we have a couple more for you. Here's one right now, huh, gang? Why? Why did Academy Award nominate an actor, Heath Ledger, as he lay dying, place a phone call to Mary Kate Olsen? Well, all those pills he'd taken, he needed some advice on how to throw up. <laughs> Why did uh, God send Terry Schiavo to hell? <laughs> For the sin of sloth. God create the Doobie Brothers. Well, it's part of an experiment in bacteria collection. Hey, the guys with the beards here know what I'm talking about. Clean up your act. Can I get some scissors or something? You don't have scissors here. I notice a lot of the hair is kind of long and dirty. So these guys wearing, you know, I was talking about these beautiful ladies. You got all dressed up. Look at how many of these guys are wearing dirty t-shirts with mustard stains. Slobs, huh? Just like most of your bands that play on this very stage. Clean up your act, guys, huh? This is entertainment. You know, have you seen this, this dreary uh, band, Yola Tango? They probably, these guys are slobs. Fat slobs spill food all over their clothes and then they come out and play as if they have five thumbs on each hand. I'm sorry, that is not my idea of entertainment. Now clean it up, guys. Huh? Whatever happened to the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra, those guys would get dressed up. They could play their instruments. I'm sorry, your Yola Tango does not compare. I will tell a couple more jokes, but you guys are really demoralizing and I don't know how much I can continue on. Hey, here's something for you. Why? Thank you. Why did God create Domino's Pizza? Why? To punish humanity for their complacency in letting the Holocaust happen. The same could be uh, said for chili. I'm <laughs> anyway. How do you keep your pet dog from licking his balls? Ow. Well, you coat them in Domino's pizza sauce. <laughs> no. <laughs> he likes it. This guy, this guy, what is your name? Sven? Where did you come out from for tonight's show? Johannesburg, South Africa. That is something else. That's a long way to travel for a free show, but I do thank you for coming out. I haven't been able to play Johannesburg recently, so it's great, great that you made the effort. It's much easier than me going there. Thank you, Sven. Somebody buy Sven some drinks or something. This guy has traveled a long way, and we salute you. Uh, we have a couple more jokes here dedicated to my good friend Sven over here. <coughs> What? What is the most, what is the item most commonly left behind 
after a meal at casual neighborhood dining chain Applebee's. What? The dignity of the patron. <laughs> All right, here's one you like. <sighs> Folks, can we do controversial material in this town? No, I don't want to do something that's going to get me in trouble. Do we, do we know what the rules are in this? Do we have law enforcement? Are, are we allowed to? Do, I don't want to end up in trouble. I don't want to do something that violates the community standards. Um, I don't want to end up like the, what was the guy, what was that filthy guy that uh, pulled out his controversial material on stage? Jim Morrison, Jim Morrison. I don't want that. All right, we'll try it. We'll do it. No, nah, I'm not going to do this. No, nah, I don't want to take a chance. I'll do something else. Hey, here's something for you. Uh, did you hear the one about the pregnant bed bug? Yeah, she gave birth in the spring. All right, we'll do the controversial material. <laughs> what? What did the Hispanic, <laughs> the Hispanic <clears throat> employee at the drive through window of Burger King say to presidential candidate Barack Obama when he asked if they could make him a double bacon cheeseburger without any mayonnaise. What? Yes, we can. <laughs> uh, 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 